I called up Centrelink. Welcome to the Centrelink self-service line. And in order to access my account, we go through a speech access service, which is basically you speaking to the Centrelink robot lady. This is a speech access service where you can speak your answers to any questions I ask. And it then just asks for your customer reference number. And after that, there's just one more layer of security, which is the voice print to verify your identity over the phone. We're not going to actually play the exact phrase that I used to uh, access the voice print and access my account for obvious reasons. I don't want anyone to hack me. Please don't. Um, But it sounded something like this. Now, please repeat after me. In Australia, my voice identifies me. Thank you. You've been authenticated. You can train an AI model using recordings of someone, and it will do its best to reproduce their voice. Hello. This is my real voice. And this is the fake voice I've made using an AI voice cloning program. And in this case, I only used about four minutes of audio of myself to to generate my fake voice and it's not perfect you, you can hear a, a slight american twang in there hi guys this is a voice model i trained this morning to access my center link account but it's it's clearly good enough in some circumstances were you surprised that you were able to clone your own voice and access your own center link account did you think you'd be able to do it i i was surprised actually even though i'd read that people were able to do it using a similar system overseas um I I thought there'd be maybe some other security measures in place uh, which might prevent this. But Services Australia have said that they're monitoring these sorts of security issues and, you know, potentially they will address them if they think it's a big issue. How easy is it for a regular person to use this voice cloning technology? Yeah, again, I, I don't want to go into too much detail how I set it up, but there are, like, multiple free or cheap services now which will do this some of them require a lot of audio some of them require only a little bit of audio um and i guess the the real risk or issue is that there needs to be recordings of you available if someone wants to to duplicate your voice so obviously people who are Podcast podcast hosts um people who do a lot of video you know, politicians, uh, celebrities, but even just people who post a lot of stuff on social media. So, you know, someone could use your Facebook videos to duplicate your voice um, if they had access to them. Um, someone could record you. Um, so it it's getting in increasingly easier to do. Who is most at risk and who is most vulnerable here, Nick? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not a security expert, but in in my mind, I think the people who would be most vulnerable from this would be situations where someone already knows your customer reference number, um, and that might be some sort of scenario where maybe your estranged partner or someone like that wants to access your account for some reason. Mm-hmm. They might already have access to details that can confirm the other side of thing, like your your customer reference number or your date of birth. Um, but potentially now they could also create a model of your voice. Um, so that, that would probably be the biggest risk, I, I suppose. Um, and then, you know, again, anyone who's high profile and anyone who might have had other details leak in a separate hacking attack or something like that. So this does seem like a flaw in Centrelink system. How widely is this similar technology, this kind of voice print technology, used in Australia? Yeah, so it's it's used by the ATO and that was probably where it was first used in a big way here, I think. Welcome to Tax Office Individual Self-Help. We've introduced a highly secure and faster way to access your information. But they actually use it in a slightly different way. So they use it when you're on the phone to a call center. um, And they use it while you're on the phone with someone as a way to verify your identity as you're speaking to someone. So rather than having to ask you for, you know, security questions or your date of birth or that sort of thing while you're on the phone with them, they will get a little uh, indicator while you're speaking with them that it 
matches your voice print or something like that. And so they use that as an extra layer of security. And that's obviously going to be harder to trick because you have to keep speaking to them. A real person can hear if it sounds weird, for example. Um, They can hear if there's a a delay in responses. Considering you're not a hacker or an AI expert, I'm just throwing this to you, by the way. Considering you're not a hacker or an AI expert, though, uh, do you think other people will be able to, to do this going forward? I mean, people who are certainly already using this technology for fun. They're using it for terrible pranks on the internet. Um, and, you know, I, I think people are starting to use it for other more nefarious means as well. So, um, yeah, I think, I think we're going to see a bit more use of this in the future.